Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rukia's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make a tasty and easy liver stew. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned and enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you're going to need 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, salt to taste, 3 to 4 tablespoons of cooking oil, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of curry powder, 1 teaspoon of beef masala, 3 tablespoons of tomato puree, a half a kg of liver which I've removed the outer skin and I've already cleaned it, 1 sliced carrots, 1 large onion, a half a lime, and you'll also need different types of bell peppers. On a medium large pot, start by pouring some oil. Let the oil heat up and add one sliced onion and cook the onion till golden brown. Once the onion starts turning color, you're going to add two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste and give a quick mix, followed by carrots and bell peppers, and continue stirring, then cover to let them cook till soft. Once the carrots and the bell paper are becoming soft, Open the lid and add 3 tablespoons of tomato paste and mix everything well. I'm going to add a bit of water into the tin to remove any tomato left out. Then pour and continue stirring. Then afterwards, I'm going to squeeze a half a lime. I usually like to add some bitterness into my stew, but if you don't like, it's not a must. But make sure you squeeze a lime before adding the liver. Once your stew is thick, you're going to add the liver. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of beef masala, a half a teaspoon of curry powder, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and mix everything well and let the liver to cook on a medium heat. Then sprinkle a bit of salt and mix the liver very well and cover to let the liver to continue cook on a medium heat. If you want to have more stew into your liver, you can pour a quarter cup of water aside. Do not pour directly, all the liver tends to become so hard. Make sure you don't overcook the liver because it tends to lose the taste of the liver. And after 5 minutes, your liver stew is ready, as you can see in the video, and serve on a plate or a bowl and enjoy your liver stew. And my tasty liver stew is ready, as you can see in the video. You can eat along with bread, rice, chapati or anything that you like and enjoy your liver stew. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Instagram for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.